everyone! In our last series, we deep dive into the foundation of multi-agent system. And today, we are introducing a game changer, the Model Context Protocol, the MCP. And this is the start of two episode series. By the end of the series, you will know everything you need to know to get started with ADK agents and MCP, including how to connect an ADK agent to an MCP server, and also how to use ADK to build your own MCP server. So for this first episode, we will cover three things. The first is what is an MCP server and why is a universal adapter for all AI agents? And secondly is, why do you need to use MCP? And lastly, we will walk through two examples of connecting an ADK agent to an MCP server. We will also have a detailed written tutorial from the link on the screen so that you can try yourself. All right, let's dive in. So the first part is, what is an MCP server? At its core, the model context protocol is an open standard. It defines how large language model and AI agents can talk to the external world. Think of it as MCP is a USB-C port for AI. Instead of building a custom connector for every single tool, you get one universal way of plugging in. And there are two important concepts in the setup, the MCP client and MCP server. And here is how it works. So when it comes to MCP server, expose tools. For example, it can connect to data sources, APIs, or custom actions so that we can do data fetching, calling API, or customize logics with actions. And then we have this MCP client. It discovers and uses those tools. And in most cases, your ADK agent acts as an MCP client and it connects two MCP servers to gain new capabilities. And the second part of today's video is why do we want to connect ADK agents with an MCP server? Basically, why bother with this universal adapter? Why not just connect directly to those tools? And the answer is very simple. MCP makes your agents more powerful, more reliable, and more practical. And here is what you get with MCP. Firstly, since MCP server exposed tools, your agent now can access huge external capabilities. For example, it can read or write files on a local or remote file system. It can curate a database like BigQuery or MongoDB. It can also connect a real-time directions from Google Maps and has many more. For example, it can use generative media tools like Imogen for image generations. And secondly, it gives you modularity and reusability. An MCP server can be a standalone service, and any MCP compliant client, including ADK agent, can plug in. And there's no custom glue code required. This means less custom integration code and more reusable components. It can also offer security and control. MCP allows you to define clear boundaries. And last but not least, a simplified deployment strategy. With remote server, you can decouple tools from your agent, and that makes scaling a lot easier in environments like Cloud Run or GKE. So the bottom line is, Connecting ADK with MCP can allow your ADK agent to interact with the real world and make a true agentic system. And now the third part of this video is how to connect an ADK agent to an MCP server. How do we actually do it? An ADK makes it really simple with something called MCP toolset. And you can think of it as ADK's building bridge to the MCP world. And here is what it does behind the thing. So first, it set up the connection with the MCP server. And this can be a local process or a remote HTTP server. And then you will load all the available tools from MCP server. And while you're doing that, it translates those MCP tools into ADK compatible version so that it can handle communication back and forth. When your agent decided to use an MCP tool, the MCP tool set forwards a request to the MCP server and send the response back to your agent. And let's take a look at this two quick example. 
For the first example, file system MCP server. Remember, your agent is a model as a brain and select a tool from the toolbox and make a decision, right? So what if you want your agent to equip with tools like listing or reading files from this folder? So in this Python example, the MCP toolset is configured to launch an npx command that runs the file system MCP server. It passes a target folder path as arguments and giving server access to that specific directory. By using MCP toolset, your agent now can use tools like list directory and read file right in this toolbox. You can follow the instruction on the screen or scan the QR code for more details about how to connect to your MCP server. All right, let's take a look at the second example, Google Map MCP server. You can think of a situation like, OK, you want to figure out the direction from San Francisco to New York. How do you figure out the direction with your agent? You can easily do that by connecting to MCP Google Map with MCP toolset after setting up your API key and enabling all the necessary Google Map APIs. Your agent now can respond to prompts like, tell me the direction from New York to San Francisco. Again, the link on the screen will provide you with more information of how to connect into this MCP server. All right, let's wrap up. So firstly, MCP is a universal connector for AI agents. And secondly, Connecting ADK agents to MCP servers give them real-world capabilities, stronger modularities, and more control. And lastly, with ADK MCP toolset, the setup is really straightforward. So this is the foundation for making your agents truly powerful. If you want to try yourself, check the links in the description. And in the next episode, we will flip the script and I will show you how to build our own MCP server with ADK tools. And see you in next episode. Bye.